Hey everyone, this is Arak Leader 635 and today I'm going to bring you a comparison, and I mean an extreme comparison, between the regular Poochie and the Japan Poochie. Of course, there's plenty of things that I'm going to have to go ahead and address and show and crap, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get confused in a couple, but, and I'm saying that because this is not my first attempt, but I'll give it a shot. Here we go. So first things first, and we're gonna go into the cosmetics. What you see through the outside and you can tell right away, hey, this is a Poochie from Japan or from the US. First thing from the front, there's one thing you can see that's gonna tell it away, the nose. Here is the nose of a Japan Poochie, and this is the nose of a normal Poochie that was probably made afterwards. What is the difference, of course, you guys can see. Uh, the, Jap the Japanese Poochie only has holes at the center for the microphone and it has a smaller nose yeah you guys can see it's actually smaller and it has a square hole without a glass now why is that? because it has a light sensor that I'll be showing um, in a little bit this one has a bigger nose, a little window, a little um, plastic glass and it has holes at the side what for? The, um, this is for the microphone and this one I think it's for the inductive sensor if I'm not wrong because <clears throat> I could be actually really wrong because I know for a fact the inductive sensor is either here or here but I'm pretty sure it must be here it's just that the board of this one doesn't really have it but I guess that by the way it's yeah it's in the center actually it must be a little bit underneath here so there's nothing on the other side um, but it, as you guys can see it actually has another two holes at the sides then of course the side of the body it's this is like one of the crucial things it says tiger on the regular one that was imported to the US mainly and to other a lot of other places because it was tiger electronics who distributed it and the Japanese one of course has nothing absolutely nothing it's plain the side the leg caps which I'll go ahead and make a little annotation later on about them these are the leg caps of a regular Poochie and these are the ones from a Japanese Poochie they say one I think it could be the the distributor there in Japan I'm not really sure about it they say one um, pretty neat then of course the battery cover of course, no battery cover, I mean battery compartment. On this one, which is the Japanese Poochie, it has only three things. 1.5 volt, AAA, and LRO3. On this one, it has the same things, but in a different order. Okay, it says AAA, LRO3, 1.5 volts, and you can see it's, it's a lot better made, so this is like the we can call it second generation or something that they made when you know <clears throat> when they brought it to North America this is the one from a regular one has a lot of data Sega toys 1999 2000 Tiger Electronics all retro served rating 4.5 volts blah 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 things that nobody really wants to know while the Japanese one just says Sega toys 2000 patent pending made in China so those are some of the things you can tell right away about the Poochie. So that's the first part. Right, so now we're gonna go with the inside of the eyes and how everything looks like. So in the US Poochie, there's a, it's a single-sided board, six-pin harness, I think it is, yeah, six-pin harness. Um, it has a lot of annotations over like how they, you know, where the resistors go and everything. It has the model number, the patent number, the date it was made, and the version. This is version 1.2, was made in uh, March 20th of the year 2000. Um, of course, then it has the LEDs. The LEDs are solid red, and they say left, happy, angry, right. So that's how the... Uh, that's how the eyes go positioned pretty much so when someone is assembling this thing and putting the bottom frame 
they can actually be like, okay, so this is, okay, right goes right, left goes left, you know, things like that. That's basically how it can go. Um, the eyes are pretty much the same as the Japanese Poochies. The only difference that I could find is that the screws are silver on the Japanese. They are black on this one. And of course, here's where the Japanese one comes in. You guys saw this had solid red LEDs, a lot of annotations. This one hardly has annotations, has a double-sided board. It has an 8-pin harness and a 4-pin harness for the speaker and for the button. So this is a little bit more modular than the other. Doesn't really have that many annotations. Instead of saying happy, angry, or whatever, it just says D1, D2, D3, and D4. And it has just some resistors like R26 and all that crap. And there's some other numbers down there underneath every single transistor. And all it seems to have is this right here. 006D. Just some kind of code, maybe the code of the part or something. But yeah, this is pretty much the uh, the difference. Of course, the regular Poochie's eyes actually have two pegs where this kind of locks into. While the Japanese one doesn't seem to have any pegs, so that one just goes like that. Other than that, the eyes really don't. As I said, the expressions don't change. They are the exact same thing, and I think even at the exact same height. The size doesn't change, anything doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the, the little numbers it has. But that may be according to the mold they made it in. So, those are the eyes. We're gonna go with the bodies in general. What's so different about the gears it uses, the way the legs attach, and the way the, the pieces are made for, you know, the leg caps, which is one thing I wanted to say earlier ago. So first of all, here we have the Japanese Pucci, and what we can see is that the way the head is placed is a whole lot different because this one actually has little lines on the sides and the structure itself is a whole lot tougher than the Pucci that was made for the other countries you know this is much more tougher this is the the regular one it's not as tough and it's pretty plain you know like you can you can just grab it and move it like this and it's going to move and it's going to probably snap off, snap off or something. It happened to one of mine, so I know it happens. Um, as I said, it's both for the front and the back. And on the back, it's a really weak spot. I'll say that on this one, it's a really weak spot. It's on all of the others. Well, this one's really tough, so I'm, I like that. Of course, as I said, it has those lines that pretty much keep it straight. So that's a really good thing. The position the harness is at doesn't really change, I think. No, it actually changes. It's uh, it's on the opposite side. Here it's facing there, like, you know, that little opening. It's facing there. That one's facing the other side. The board does change a little bit, but just a little bit, not really that much. You guys can see there's uh, some other numbers there, like P PN41 something. Like, it must be Peyton number. So this is the US one. And this is the one that says, the Japanese one that says R08D. Now one thing about these um, about these Poochies is that sometimes they come with gray and sometimes I think they come with, because I know for a fact most US ones, I think they come with these uh, purple gears. But I've seen a couple of these that come with yellow gears, so I guess that's another slight difference. But then again, it's not something that's like definite. However, other than that... The bottoms are pretty much almost identical. They do have a better holding. That's one thing. They do hold better the head. Um, same with the upper part. Everything's the same. When it comes to the tail piece, however, this one, this one is, no, wait. wait where's the other piece? Okay, there's the other one. There's one that's tougher. This is the one from the uh, US Poochie, pretty much. It's really, really, you know, it's not that resistant. Which it's good in a certain extent. And then you have the one from Japanese Poochie, which actually takes a little bit more. And it's a little thicker from some certain spots. You know, it's uh they look somewhat the same, but they are not. They actually have differences. That's everything. Of course, the way this thing works are also different. That's another thing. 
the sensors are positioned the same way everything's somewhat positioned the same way not a really you know big difference but the way the sens the sensors are triggered is actually different and that's why i like calling the uh the japanese poochie the razor blade poochie because these two things these two tins are the ones that touch with this lever to let it know if it's fully i think it's like you know laying down or all the way up and this is when it's on the center um this one has these tins but if you have ever been into a us poochie you're gonna know that it has a little plastic tab like that and of course this piece is almost the same i really haven't found any sort of difference on there of course these are glued i glued them so they don't have that many you know they they are not as loose because when when you have one of these the legs usually are loose and that's really bad for when it gets up and down so i just i just uh glue them together and i'll do the same thing with this one but the main difference, of course, is just this, this, this piece right here. Which is, actually, it's just a single tin that's bent. There. Okay, so that, I explained the head, I explained this, the gears and everything, almost the same. Not really any sort of difference, only that here they actually, they actually mark the, the arrow, so that's good. Um, the back of the, the back pieces are the same. As I said, nothing different, only that in this one, it doesn't have that much security. On this one, they actually gave it a little piece, like a little support. Not, not sure what for, but, you know, it's Japan. Um, I think, hold on, what the... Oh yeah, it's the same, it's the same. I was, I was being paranoid, I was like, wait, but is this the same? No, it's, it's the same, it is the same, so... Other than that, of course, then the legs. The legs are fucking tough to take off. Not the legs themselves, but the leg caps. The leg caps of these poochies are really easy. Because they have a little, like, you know, a little spot where you make some pressure and you can actually pop it off. And that's it. You know, and it comes off from both sides. On the Japanese poochie, it's a whole lot worse. Because it has really big supports from the inside. Really big tabs. That you fit on there, and I even stabbed my finger trying to take them off, and it costed me a lot. Like, I could not take them off with the body assembled. I had to take apart the body. Don't ask me how. I made pressure. I took I took the, the bottom piece off with both legs still attached. I was able to take the legs off with all the shaft and everything. But it, And then I was able to take them off, but even there, it wasn't easy. It's a pain in the ass, okay? And it got scratched. Even I tried with a, um, I tried smoothing it with a lighter. It somewhat worked. It was worse before. But as I said, it's a lot better on the, on the regular poochie than on that one. I mean, other than that, the the thing is all, the the rest of things are almost all the same. So it's not really that you know. But it's bad, I'll say that, it's bad. So if your poochie has a body issue, or you just want to put a 3D printed tail on it or something, you're going to have one hell of a fucking time. That's why I, I have my tails ready. Where are they? Tails, tails, where the fuck are they? I swear to God that I had them here. And if they're not here, they might as well be here. Oh, okay, there we go. I have the tails ready for the Japanese and for the purple poochie. And this is just a sample tail that I made at one point. It's a three-piece thing. So, that, that goes there. So, yeah. That is the body section. The position of these rivets or screws or whatever these are supposed to look like are actually different, too. Because here, on the regular one from any other place of the country, there's these two that are on the top. And there's these two at the bottom, you know, kind of like a hexagon. On this one, however, there's the exact same quantity, but they are actually moved. There's one in the top, there's two there, two there, and two there, and, um, and three there, I mean, and one there, I mean. That's weird, but I guess it was worth addressing. I mean, it's like if you were to do this. So that's another difference they have in between the legs. That I forgot to show, not quite sure why they did this, is that on the regular poochies, they don't have anything on the inside piece of the foot. 
On these, however, they have a little piece like a holder thing or something, maybe to keep it in place. I'm not really sure. There's nothing, so I don't know. But they have this for both front and back, as far as I'm aware of. But yeah, that's the other part. I'll say this. Out of all the differences, there's one that really struck me by surprise. And that is that this Poochie has six screws for holding the body. You know, like it has these other, these other two. The Japanese one only has four. Two at the back and two at the front. The other two would be for the head. You know, that would be like for, you know, but this one... Should have eight in total if we count the ones from the head. If they, yeah, they kind of hold it together. But yeah, that's another really good difference that lets you know that this one was made afterwards. Much more toy safety on it. Of course, now we're gonna go with the mechanisms. The mechanisms are slightly different. Not really that many differences, but I guess it's worth mentioning. Number one, the Japanese Pucci, as it's better reinforced in the neck. It only is held by the front plate of the head by two screws. These two screws right there, two flathead screws. While this one was so poor on that spot that they actually added a third screw holder on the side where the gear touch, you know, where the gear makes contact with the other gears of the, you know, of the gears of the bottom of the body, of the body pretty much. Um, Another difference is that the Japanese Pucci actually has a little hook that's glued for passing wires on there. And of course, another difference that I did mention before, but I'll go ahead and mention again, the speaker and the button on the Japanese Pucci are a harness that you connect to the eyes once you're done screwing the mechanism in place. Unlike this one, which has them hardwired to the board. So that's another difference for you. Another pretty noticeable difference on these, on the mechanisms, is that the Japanese one does not have the motor held by anything, okay? Only by the components it's soldered, you know, only by the components that are soldered to it. But the uh, regular Poochies, they have it screwed. Because you guys know how these these um, things on the on the plastic piece, they have two holes. <clears throat> and they have two black screws holding the motor in place. In this case, it's just loose. It's not held by anything. All right, so now we go with the circuitry. The main board that these things have in the inside of their noses. This is the U.S. one, and this is the Japanese one. The Japanese one is known by not having the ability to interact with the other Poochies. All it has is just a light sensor and a microphone. And of course, the one from the US Pucci that we know interacts with a bunch of the Robochi pets. It has an IR receiver, which in this case, in this specific case, it's another LED, which usually on the others, it has a little cross. As you see, it has a little cross right there. And it has the IR emitter, which is the same on every single one. Also has a light sensor, an inductive sensor, which in this one it's missing, and the microphone. So it basically has four more things than this one does. On this one, you can clap, you can push, you can press it, you can, you can, you know, shine some light, it's going to make a reaction. On this one, it can interact, it can, it can, you can feed it as well, and that's pretty much the other two extra things that are actually nice that the US ones have. Of course, the board on the US one is attached with three screws, and I thought it was the same for the, for the Japanese one. But it turns out that number one, the US one, has the board attached to the bottom, okay? Has it at the bottom, and the Japanese one has it attached at the top because of the light sensor. And it only has two screws. It's only grabbed on by two screws. And I thought, okay, then what's that third screw for? That third screw is just for this holder piece that holds the light sensor and the microphone down. Of course, here we see the uh, eight-pin harness, the four-pin harness for the for the bottom, for the body, pretty much. And uh, yeah, 
So that's pretty much the circuitry. Now, I'll go ahead and actually point out, this is from the Dead Purple Pucci, and it has the date April 18th of the year 2000. God damn it, why does this thing suck at focusing? 18th of April of 2000, um, that's the patent, the patent number. And then we have the version 1.1. This is the ver the this board is version 1.1, but this one, the IR one, is actually version 2.0, as you guys can see right there. Weird, isn't it? Goes to show that they just make these pieces assorted, and they just they're just like, okay, we're gonna put this one here, that one there, that one there. You know, they're basically just in a container full of nothing but Pucci nose pieces, main boards. It's usually like that how they do it. Uh, what else? Of course, this one did not come with the button, so I cannot really say anything about the button. This will be its new button. And uh, then, of course, right after that, we have that. The ears actually have a slot right here on the on this area. I don't know what for. And the other one, the one from the standard Pucci, has this weird relief right there again not a biggie but it's worth mentioning of course the this is the ear and mouthpiece from the US one it's much more refined the shape is actually a lot more refined and it has this retard proof ears that the pegs are melted while the U the Japanese one has no melting so you just put the ears like that and that's it and it has a less refined of a shape on the uh... Oh, fuck um... as I was saying a less refined shape on here the shape that actually touches the uh... The, the, this piece that touches the mouth and makes it open of course after that the side pieces that hold the face in place or it should be like the eye panel in place are also a little different. In this one they are a little bit larger, not really a big deal, but I guess it's worth showing. It doesn't have that additional holder and it's a little less bulkier on the Japan on the Japan one. I guess that is it. I've shown everything that's different. The mouth of course is the same, not a big deal. The only thing I'm going to be showing next when I fix this one is how it works in comparison with another Pucci. That's the standard one. Um, so I guess that's everything for now. So next up, the video of this thing being fixed. Well, not being fixed, but, you know, fully working again. So part one of the video done. So as promised, here's both of my Poochies. It's a Japanese atomic bomb! Well, I'll get a little far from these so they don't start barking and barking. So, as you guys know, this is the Japanese and this is the regular one. These other two are the ones that I have. The purple one works just fine. The other purple one has to be. As I said, they are different. The colors are actually different. I've seen a few pictures. They seem to be, you know, they both seem to be, to exist. Let's basically call it like that. Um, okay. And um, basically that's pretty much, you know, these two are pretty much... These two are pretty much the, um, the comparison points right now. Those other two are going to be for a later video of all four of them. So, as I said, regular Poochie. You guys can hear even the barks are different. Of course, the first song is the same on both.
that's one of the songs that is actually different on those. Um, of course, as I said, this one has the eye, the uh, eye, the eyeglass of a regular one, or well, what used to be either my, yeah, my purple one actually. That's what used to be my purple ones, and um, and another piece it actually has that's different is the button pad. The button pad actually didn't bring it, so I had to, you know, grab all of those from this one. This dead-ass Poochie, which I don't even know if at some point this one could be revived or not. That's all up to whatever I find. Anyways, so it's pretty much almost the same on the battery things, except for the things I said before. Um, the barkings, as I said, are different, and you can tell that this one came first because all the, you know... The barking sound it makes, and the um, and the music it plays, they are the same thing. While this one, the barks are actually different from the songs. That's pretty much what happens. So, as I said, this one has the ability to interact. That's one good thing about it. With other poochies, just just a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course, they're just acting random right now. There's no interaction in between both whatsoever. Um, I can't believe it. I... Oh! There. Much better. Oh, shit. This one's better, so a little dead. Okay, I guess. I guess it's actually enough. Well, was that a beep? All right there. There we go. So. Okay, enough. It's because I'm shining the flash on it, so it's gonna start reacting to it. Same with this one. Anyways, so. You guys have already seen this one, so we're gonna go with this. Here's the first song, the same as the others. Now the second song of this one, which is different, it's... Actually, I'm glad this one actually si Should shove something into its fucking nose so it actually shuts the fuck up. Shit. I, I, I should show it. Enough. Anyways. Um, the second song, of course. I, I just, I just got, I just stopped the video to make another one with, uh, 
you know, like the other half without the flash, so they actually don't start bouncing and everything. So, um, that's the second song of that one, which is Jingle Bells. I like it. And now we're going to see the one from this one. The only thing I'll have to say about this one is that I have a feeling that the spring, you know, the, sp the spring that this one used to have, let me just, pretty sound sensitive, the spring that this one had for both mouth and ears, you know, that one that's like held through, I think it's this side, if I'm not wrong, the original spring it had was silver, now it's the one that this one has, somewhere around that big ass hole. Because it wasn't really strong enough. It's actually a little weaker. And it's funny because these have it, you know, these regular ones have it held in another way. That's pretty much why the, uh, <clears throat> how's it called? That's pretty much why the, uh, I think it's probably one of the reasons why it doesn't have a harness too, because the hole there of the, sp of the spring would actually be over the harness. It would be hitting the harness. I tried taking like... Let's see if I can actually take it out. No, it's stuck in there. But like, if I were to put that one in there, it would hit the harness. That would be for the speaker and the button. So that's pretty much why it doesn't have that little extra flap that holds the spring on this one. This one's springs are a whole lot tighter than what these ones are. <clears throat> and I guess the reason is because the way they are held, you know, the one is held by the bottom, the other one's held by a straight line there, so it's a little bit more of tension. Um, anyways, we'll continue with this one. That's one thing, every time you turn it on, every time you turn it on or you, or you put batteries into it, it's going to have a little, like, a little tune, which those don't have. Here's the third song. Now the good thing about this one is that all of the songs, it actually dances to all of them. That's one thing I do like. But yeah, actually, yeah, never mind. That's that's not the one that was playing before. And that one's pretty long on this one, too. That's the one that both of these have in common, just like the first one. Wait. I think it's probably the only two that they have in common. The rest are actually different on this one. And I think that's the last one that this one has. Because I, I, I wasn't able to access the others, so... 
If there's any others, that is. Yeah, there's only six. Anyways, um... Other than that, of course, the sounds... Some of the actions are a little different here and there, but... Mainly the entire the entire concept is somewhat kept where the robot just goes up, down, or just on its tiptoes like that. Um, the only thing that's of course different is the entire structure and everything. And I'll say this, this one's really well made. I forced... I forcibly moved the arms, no not the arms, the legs I mean. And first of all, they are not really something you can force, but when you can, you hear the clicker. So these, this one's actually one that has a clicker that, you know, that helps it out with everything. I don't say these don't, these do. But what I'm saying is that these one's structures are so cheap that when you force it like that, what you hear is not the clicker. It's actually that clicker gear grinding against the one, that main one from the, uh, from the legs. That's and I guess that's pretty much why this one, once you move it down, it just, it has, you know, it, it cannot get up because something's broken in there. I mean, other than that, that's practically it. Of course, when they go to sleep, the sounds are different. This one has that breathing sound that the Miyauchi has. This one has another completely different um, snoring, which, in fact, the first time I heard it back in 2010, I was scared of it because I was like, what the fuck? I left this thing alone in my room and started doing that. I was like, oh, maybe it goes to sleep. Um, of course, the tail is installed, and, uh, I mean, yeah, other than that, of course, the color's slightly different. That one's slightly darker, as I said before, and I guess here you can tell the difference a bit better. And, um, one thing I noticed about this one, or these, I guess we could call it another weird difference. Let me just see if I can lay this one down. there. One thing we can see is that this one actually does not go that far down as this one does. Okay, that's one thing. Of course, when it goes all the way down, you guys know the little lever type relay hits. On this one, it's not, it doesn't go that far down because of that, because it has that metallic thing. On this one, it goes a little bit further because of the plastic piece it has. So, other than that, that is practically it. I'm not gonna say that this will be the last Pucci video on my channel because I have a feeling that on the fest where I go, I mean every, the funny thing is that every single fest I went, I actually got a Pucci. The first fest I got two Poochies, this one and what used to be this one which got mixed up with my first purple one. And um, second fest of course I got this and that one from a fellow YouTuber and then the third fest I got this one. Funny enough, there's only, what, two weeks left for the next fest and there has not been a single one of these popping up, so I don't know if I'll get one of these. I'll say this though, there's pretty promising things as well on this fest. Like every, every, every month it gets better. It's cool, it gets better, and I'll go ahead and spoil something, another Zodok leader in part. And future Fighter King. Not Fighters, but Fighter. The one with the chest light that looks like a cosmic. More things to come, ladies and gentlemen. So, be, um, you know, in, in a couple of weeks, be tuned up to the channel because I'm going to be showing the things. So, I guess the next video I'll do, maybe either I'll, I'll either take a break from these things or, you know, and start with Mini Commander or just disassemble this one and start with this one so I'm done with the robot dogs pretty much. I'm not really sure yet of what I'm gonna do. I can't promise anything but that's practically it. So as always thanks everyone for watching. This has been Zodok Leader 635 and um I hope you enjoyed the video and you know I hope it's been useful for someone. That's one thing because I know it's pretty random. I know I tend to stutter a little bit because it's not these are not ideas that are properly placed that are, you know, sunlight. I don't have a script. So I say it's annoying, it's boring, it's 
In fact, I did. I actually did. I did have a shitty script, but nothing, you know, just the first two things of the script. And it just turned out to nothing, you know. I, I tried making the video. I could not memorize it. I was like, you know what? I'll just let it happen. Like, well, everyone does not get with most reasons to so here I have regular blah, 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 garbage. So I never really went with that um, that first idea. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope it's been useful, and I'll see you all in the next video. Leave your comment below on what you think about it, and if you actually know now all the differences in between the Japan and the regular Poochies. Thank you for watching.